Hi, this is Chris from Adventure Pilot, and today I'll be demonstrating how to connect iFly EFB and Microsoft Flight Simulator. So we're going to start out with the settings on the iFly EFB app. Um, first of all, we want to make sure that the wireless network uh, on the device running iFly EFB is the same as the computer running um, Microsoft Flight Sim. After you've confirmed that, uh, you want to go ahead and go to Menu, Setup, ADSB, and you want to make sure that the selected device is on Auto Detect. Uh, to change that, tap on the Options, Change Selected Device, and just make sure that's on Auto Detect. Okay, next up, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you the plugin that's required to stream data from Microsoft Flight Sim. So unlike X-Plane, Microsoft Flight Sim does not have a built-in feature to stream to EFB applications. So something like XMAP CV3 is required to uh, stream that data to EFBs, such as iFly EFB. Um, and this is available online, um, just on their website here. Um, they do have a demo version, which I'll be uh, demonstrating today. Um, but it is available on Sim Market here for 15 euros, which comes out to about 17 USD. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to download this plugin. So I'm on their downloads page. And I'll go ahead and click on this uh, download demo version. Okay, and this is downloading here. All right, so we have this open now um, and the download completed. So I'm just going to open up the xmapcv3.zip file. I double click on the demo version. It says it's an unknown publisher. We're going to click run. Click yes. All right, we'll go through this initial setup here. Click next. All right, and it's going to install here. Okay, and we'll click on finish. We can close this out here. So now we're gonna configure uh, XMAPC uh, so that it's the right configuration for iFly. So I'm gonna go down here and run it here. So I'm gonna just type in XMAPS. Pulls up there, XMAPC v3 demo version. We're gonna run that. Okay, and then this comes up here and we're gonna click okay. And then to get into the settings, we do need to go into um, the system tray. So in the bottom right-hand corner of your computer here, it's going to have this little arrow. Uh, we're going to click on that. And then you see this one icon here. It's like a purple blue screen. Um, and it's going to have this little uh, dot on it. We're going to right click, click on settings. And there's a few settings on here we want to confirm. So uh, at the top, we want to make sure that it is selected to use ADSB slash GDL90 um, using SIM Connect. Some other settings here that you can check out on your own. Um, and we want to make sure that this network address is our uh, network address uh, for, our, for our network that we're going to be broadcasting data to. You can also have it sent to uh, directly to a specific IP. And then you also want to make sure that the GDL90 is sent to port 4000 and then broadcast to all devices and current subnet. So we can save this. Okay, we'll click on OK. Now let's go ahead and go into Microsoft Flight Sim. All right, so on here, uh, we're going to go ahead and start up a flight here. And then on the demo version, uh, it only allows you to do flights out of uh, Las Vegas, Las Vegas area. So we're going to go to Las Vegas says departure and we'll start this up here okay so we have the flight loaded in here um, and the first thing we want to do is just go to um, the system tray here and we'll show you the difference uh, this little blue icon is going to come up and say connected with sim connect um, that's going to confirm that we are uh, streaming that data to iFly I mean, also see, I'm going to pull up iFly EFB here. You can see that it is uh, is streaming on here. And we can also see there's uh, traffic there, uh, has our GPS position. 
And I'm going to go ahead and uh, start up, start flight sim, and we'll uh, we'll get we'll get moving here. Let's go ahead and uh, take off. As we're taking off here, go ahead and note on uh, on iFly that it is going to be moving here. So you can see we got our terrain shading going on there. Uh, we can go into map mode, check out the synthetic vision, and this is all being streamed right into iFly. We got uh, AI traffic, uh, so it's all going to be right here. And we can also confirm if we go to menu about connected devices, it's going to show that. Uh, we I do have a um, this ADSB controller generic unidentified. This is going to be the uh, the Microsoft Flight Sim uh, sending that over to us. And we can also check if we go to Menu Setup ADSB. And in here, it's just uh, showing us again we are getting that information there. But okay, I hope uh, this helped you out um, getting more familiar with how to connect. Microsoft Flight Sim and iFlight EFP. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day.